exist, Larry? Where do you exist? Well, he's probably at home tired of yeah, yeah, streaming is. now. Uh, let, me, let me defend Charlie and, and Eon. They're, they're, they have school today. I, I, I know. Yeah, two, I know. I, I'm just two, two I, very good kids. I, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, I'm mostly joking, but at the same time, we have two invaders here at Winners Finals. I am so disappointed. So kind of, so kind of even here, man. Yeah. All right. Well, S H will dip into the loser side over here. Wait to Shadow PR and Zyle. Enough of that one. Let's go to the Winners Finals. Wadi versus Nakat, and Nakat's the top. Amazing 30% on to Wadi. I feel like in theory should work out in Pichu's favor. I mean, he's going to be able to combo this big body and just be able to intercept them in the air-to-air -air and in close boxing range. I think that might be able to work out beneficially for Wad Wadi is certain tilts that long last really long and like long-lasting aerials that we able to catch Pichu as well. Yeah, so. you mentioned that you mentioned that uh, in the match between him and S2H, right? Long-lasting uh, hitboxes could be one of the key remedies against Pichu here. Oop, forced oh, out directional no, air that dodge. That man was scared. <laughs> I think he, he might have buffered a roll and then he got clipped by that down smash. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's about it. Okay. Up throw. Tried to combo extend afterwards on that platform. Didn't quite get anything, but still Wadi going in on the cat right now. Gets through jabs. All right, Nakat coming in with the forward air. I like that he comes out towards the stage trying to get an edge out against Wadi because he knows he respects him too much. Wadi will make the comeback here and get another opportunity. Yeah, Nakat trying to go in with that meteor hitbox. Doesn't quite work out there. You got to get the initial hit. The, the later hit sends him out to the side. Wow, that forward smash sent that gyro flying, uh, but that was great, a great, option. <laughs> great jump read and just <laughs> caught it with the up smash out of shield. Amazing stuff. <laughs> Yeah, man, Pichu being one of the widest characters in the game. Pichu actually falls under Balloon Weight, the lightest character actually in the game right next to Jigglypuff. Yeah, that was going to kill mighty early. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, the position from Jigglypuff has finally been overthrown, but regardless, it's still a very good character. So The irony of this is Jigglypuff and Pichu are both the lightest characters in the game, but Pichu, you know, in my eyes, in a lot of people's eyes, now possibly a top five character in the game. Using that down tilt. Again, throwing out those hitboxes that can keep out Pichu, and I like that using the... Agility to try and get out of that scenario before things get a little bit too scary. I know. I definitely want to say good patience from Wada here because he didn't immediately go for an option. Oh, that was close, man. I saw those two down tilts coming out, and I saw Wada even looking for another tech chase. That was great. Using the weak hitbox and then got a strong hitbox into the tech chase situation. Couldn't quite find the side beat to finish it off. Thought that he was going to try to get away from him, but instead rolled in, picked the right option. But that side beat should be able to do it. That's going to be game one going to Wadi. Yo, my man gave him the quick fade away. <laughs> 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 he was like, let me fade away back here and get this look at this three-pointer. <laughs> yeah, so Wadi was looking at a three stock. Didn't quite get it, but still very low percent on uh, on the second stock. So yeah. that's looking really good for Wadi. Looking like a really good contender for Hard to Battle this weekend. Yeah. I'm excited, man. Hard to Battle this weekend. It was a uh, one-day event, of course. You guys don't, don't already know. We have more events coming up, of course. We got Metroid Prime slot announced. Let's jump into what's going on today here. Wadi has game one in his hands. The cat here. You gotta put a point on the board. We'll see if it, how things can change in game two. Interesting. Tried to go for some kind of extension there with the grab. Doesn't quite work out there. Yeah, and again. Wow, Wadi is spacing right around that grab really nicely. And I think that that's one big thing about Wadi too. Is it looks like he's just being able to space around what Pichu wants and then using his hitboxes to maneuver around them. His air-to-airs are a little bit slower than Pichu's, but if he's able to space around it, it'll work out for him. I like the fact that he respected. Hey, Nick, Kat's going to come down here with a down air. I need to get a hitbox out there so I can make sure I come back to the stage. And one thing we see Wadi every time he tries to come back from the sides here. Oh, that side view, man. The cat being caught by it. The cat just let out a laugh. <laughs> he, he, he got hit by it, then yeah, he, he got did, out he of did. it. He got out of it, and then he got hit by it again. <laughs> just in time for the, the, the finisher hitbox. So that just kind of sucks for Pichu, but, you know, like character, that's going to happen a lot. So let's see Wadi trying to slowly bring this back using that mix-up with those neutral airs and the upbeat just to be able to get out of each and edge guard range. But a pivot force match that's going to be able to work out and yeah. take out the next dog. I want to call up one thing from Wadi that we always see him throw out is his uh, um, projectiles. He wants to make sure he has the cat on the stage so he can try to come back on the stage safely. And then he reads the cat's option. That's why we saw him go for the upper earlier. Okay, Wadi with the spacing. Let me try to sneak in a laser here. Gyro out in play, and Kat had to respect a little bit around, but he comes back to the stage. Couple up to solid combo here, but Wadi's still having the upper hand. Yep, just throws the Gyro onto the ground, just tries to extend that combo. Getting a decent amount of damage, doing much better than the, the last game, I'll, I'll say that for sure. 
Okay, gets a full laser. Yep, I mean, that's his classic. I like that one because he forced Nick Cat to go for a landing option. He said, pick an option, let me read that in there, and I'll get the up smash. I mean, this is one of those things, uh, Wadi using uh, a lot of double projectile characters. They can do that, throw one projectile down, get the other one upward if you're trying to jump over it. Since shielding is a little bit uh, less of a, or more of a weaker option in this game. But right now, getting that drag down, not able to find anything else, though. So the cast is going to have to try and find the kill on this next stock if he wants a chance. They're taking this one, but the way Wadi's zoning out, using up these forge smashes, and that laser did so much damage, too. It's looking like Wadi might be able to try and take this game as Ooh, well. A throw, almost gets hit by the thunder, and he chins the four stock to it. Okay, the cat is going to go high. Not going to catch I, him with the thunder. I'm not going to lie. I like the mind game. He, he was charging the gyro towards the right side of the stage, and immediately he just canceled that and went for a high option because he saw the cat was trying to meet him down the stage. Wadi is still trying to figure out his way around. I mean, he's got one stock left, so it's going to be just one good straight hit. But he's just looking for something to try and catch the cat. There's finally going to be the gyro. Are we going to get the setup? No, we're not, but still oh, keeping like him off stage. Good edge guards coming out from Wadi. I think he tried to pull out that side B there to read a high agility or something like that. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Out. Okay. Now to cast the one with the control here. He's at a high <laughs> percent, though. He's got to be oh careful. Putting himself back in a disadvantaged position to try and get the edge guard, but he gets the turnaround with that down air to be able to turn things around. Down throw. Nice. And oh my god. <laughs> That's not the saddest thing I've ever seen happen to a Pokemon. <laughs> That's just a little overkill. I'm not gonna lie, I want to see do you, you ever see that one that one meme that went around? She's like, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. And then she's she gasps. Oh yeah. As yeah, soon yeah. as it gets hit. Oh yeah. That's yeah, literally yeah. what that happened. <laughs> oh man. Just, uh, <laughs> Yo uh, man, that, that peach in the skull got cracked. <laughs> like, man, the robots are taking over. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's, that's <laughs> the chat has the best one, dude. That feature just got Batista bomb. Put him in a coffin. That's literally what happened. But enough of that one. Wally was pretty much two two games in his hands. And the cat gets to put a point on the board. One thing we talked about what S2H did differently over the cat here. It's the approach options and understanding the opponent's approach options. Wadi knows the cat's gonna come in. So when he runs in, he immediately throws out the gyro, he throws out the laser, and he reads the cat's option as soon as he goes back. Oh, interesting footstool gets out of that uh, back dra potential drag down back air scenario. Alright. Interesting. The cat's kind of letting him back. Okay, there we go. That's that time going to be able to get a quick combo there. It looked like then the cat was letting Wadi back in the center stage, but he's going in on the chase, letting him try to land with an option first and then picking the punish option afterwards. Very smart from the cat. Oh, you went a little too low, my friend. You went a little too low. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda saw that because the cat was looking to get the edge guard, and each time, oh, that's gonna be a great thunder. E this is what I wanna call for Wadi. Each time he goes for a landing option, it's a little different than the last. And that's one thing the cat has to understand. Wadi is not landing the same way. And right there, that, the way the cat lost his dog, and he just put himself in a weird position that wouldn't let him sweet spot to the agility quite as he wanted to, so that yeah. they were gonna be able to catch them. But at the same time, Peach's up throw kind of hard to DI sometimes. Sometimes if you're not expecting the throw, you kind of just get thrown right into that um, thunder before you know it. And before you know it, you're also losing the stock. Still bring things back to even down tilt chases oh. into the grab. Great conditioning for Wadi, just forcing him into shield after the last poke did not work out for him. Yeah, he was able to get the down tilt time. This is what I'm talking about. This man does not recover the same. Charges the gyro, wants the cat to go deep, and he, now it's all, he forces that option there, but he misses the up smash. Yeah, Wadi's trying to <laughs> find all the reads on the cat right now. It's not quite working out. He's going high. I think he's trying to bait out like a thunder or that, something. This or is what something. I'm talking about. He baits out in the cat's options. Come for me and let me see what I can do right after because he has he has it baited out the minute he's off stage. Gyro not quite going to work out there. Wadi, I mean, he's in a comfortable position. Doesn't have to. Now he's not. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That I'll throw. It's hard to DI sometimes. It's really quick. So yeah, it's not like Pikachu's where you can kind of like toss you up and then puts you in the air. Pichu just kind of tosses you. It's like yeets in there. Yeah. All right, so both of these two in a lost stock situation. The cat getting closer and closer each time yeah. in a best of five scenario, but still. Wadi looking like he's had most of the control for the entire set. Let's see if he can try and close it out here. But the cat's still trying to fight back here. Wow, down what? tilts into trip Nair and then continuing with the forward air. Nice he wanted, He wanted to read the touch off. Take chase. Okay, Wadi. A little bit of signs of respect here yet again. Tossing up the projectiles. That gyro was in his perfect spot. 
to hit the cat and the Wadi go for a follow up, but he doesn't get that. Okay, I really like the idea there. Tried to use the gyro to trap him there. Push the hit, push him back in with the hitbox, get the up smash, but you know what? That forward smash is still gonna be able to do it too. 3-0 for Wadi, he's looking really nice.